today we're going to start putting some vegetables in between the trees. And uh, we're going to start with four little um, mounds here. And we're going to do what's called a, many of you have probably heard of the Three Sisters Garden. And this is going to be uh, corn. And squash is kind of a ground cover. Summer squash is what we're going to do because that's what we like to eat around here. And uh, then uh, pole beans, which the uh, squash creates a ground cover. The uh, corn creates a uh, pole for the pole beans to climb up. And uh, it's a type of companion planting that is ancient. So first step here is we've just cleared away some spots to do uh, four of these and we're going to mound up some of this planter mix and that's what we're going to plant in. So we're going to add some planter mix to these er areas that I've cleared out. Make sure I have at least a few inches deep here. Yeah, we're going to need to go make some more planting mix, so let's get busy with that. Okay, so we have now some potting mix in each of our little four mounds that we've created. Let's go ahead and get the squash sweet corn in, and in about two weeks or after we see uh, some germination on the corn and squash theoretically in a couple of weeks we'll add the pole beans in here so let's put in the corn and we're going to throw in some marigolds for good measure I'm going to do is uh, put just space six, six seeds pretty close to each other on these corn. just under the surface. And this squash is seed from my own squash last year. So we're going to plant these about a foot apart all the way around. I put six corn seeds in with the idea that I think I actually only want about three or four. So Depending on how they germinate, I will thin them. Um, and then the same thing here, I'm going to put like three squash seeds here all together, about a foot apart. One, two.
and that's it. We will uh, throw in a few marigold seeds around the edges in between those squash seeds. Look what we'll do. These are so tiny. Let's just sprinkle a few in. And then uh, we'll throw some water down on that and move on to the next. So what we have here is our extra drip line that we put uh, when we were running this uh, drip irrigation. We put a drip, an extra drip line here for future growth, knowing that we were going to do these little gardens here. So um, what I've done is I've cut a length of, doing this kind of the lazy way here, I've cut a length of soaker hose um, because I think that it might give a little bit better um, coverage on my mound here. So let's go ahead and connect this. We've already put put a uh, double barb here and we've got plugged on this. So we're going to see if we can get this plug out. And we're working on this live just for the fun of it. Got the water going. This is also kind of fun because we get to make sure everything is working properly. And we get a little, a little refreshing cooling off here. Stick that plug back on the end of the soaker hose here, and we'll just uh, arrange this around the mound here, which we've already we've already wet this down with the hose, and now we're running the irrigation line. We'll just stake that down with some more of this heavy wire that we use for uh, staking up the trees. Pretty handy stuff to have around the homestead, and we're just going to make some. tie down stakes. get one more here. That should do a pretty good job. We'll check on it tomorrow and make sure that the uh, entire mound's getting wet here because we're trying to germinate these uh, corn, marigold, and summer squash seeds. So wish me luck. Let's see what happens. It's uh, July 21st today, so it's uh, it's pretty warm. They should germinate pretty quickly. It's been in the 85, 90 range, and with lots of clouds, we're kind of in the middle of monsoon season here. So uh, we've been blessed with unusual amounts of water, and rain, and clouds, and cooler temperatures. So 
I want to be kind of careful with this next step, but I'm going to just put a real light dusting of some of the finer wood chips. I'm going to try to probably go back and remove some of the larger ones. Um, just to make sure that if the winds kick up later that uh, I don't lose all my seeds and potting mix here. So let's pick out and kind of fuss with it here a little bit. Pick out some of the bigger pieces. Add in kind of some real fine mulch on top. I don't want to cover it too much to uh, give the seeds any trouble with uh, germinating and popping up through the soil, but I think they'll be fine. That soil's real light if I can keep it soaked. Well, I'll check back in on here in a week or two and give you another update. Just a quick update on the orchard and veggie garden now on August 2nd, 2013. And uh, quickly show you how the fruit trees are doing. And it's been about 12 days since I planted the seeds in the garden. The three sisters. Only one sister has shown up to the party, it looks like so far. The uh, squash seeds are in the ground for the same amount of time as the corn. No sign yet. I think the fruit trees and the seeds all seem to like the compost tea. We've had epic amounts of rain. the Swiss chard coming up, the ruby Swiss chard. The, the happiest seed so far is the uh, melon and two different kinds of watermelon. And this is the, I believe it's called the Galia, Israeli melon. And the trees are pretty happy. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope this was helpful for you. Feel free to post any comments, questions, or suggestions in the comment section below. And Lord willing, I will see you again real soon. God bless. Save me from this prison. Lord help me.